Hello, buongiorno, ciao. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my efficient editing workflow and I'm going to do it while editing this stunning elopement session that I shot in Lake Como, specifically at Grande del Tremezzo and Villa del Balbianello alongside Mario Casati. Um, I am also going to publish the video with the behind the scenes next week, so definitely want to check, you definitely want to check that one out. And in this video, I am going to include timestamps below for each collection. So the details, getting ready, pre-ceremony, Villa del Barbianello portraits and Grand Hotel portraits, Grand Hotel Tremezzo portraits. So feel free to skip around and know that I have already created anchor images. So the ones that you see here are just a few of the anchor images that I created. I created 16 in total. And I edited these photos, I'm going to show you, with the profiles that I created. As you can see, these are the presets, the editor's blueprint presets. It's all of the uh, lists. And on the side here, I have all of the six profiles that I created. As you can see, if I hover over these photos, you can see uh, the difference between one or the other. For these photos, I shot, I not shot, I edited this with the Portrait 400 Classic Neutral Shadows because it was already a very, um, it was not a dark day. I'm going to show you the raw. This is the raw file. But as you can see, it's very natural, the um, final edited uh, effect, uh, but it was not, a sunny day so I did not have very warm tones to begin with so I wanted to edit with neutral shadows uh, while um, on the contrary when I edit uh, photos that I shot in a very bright and sunny lighting condition a harsh lighting condition I like to use the cooler shadows just to add more of a contrast in the color grading and so let's start i am going to start let's start with probably villa del balbianello portraits because you might be interested in this um for sure so i have already created the anchor image for this set of photo and the anchor image for this set of photo and this one i am lacking the anchor image for those but i'm going to create it and i'm going to show you how this one should go in the details collection okay let's just start with creating an anchor image for these photos first. Actually, this is very similar to that one. And this one. This one I might want to be here. And these two I am going to move here. This is so beautiful. This is very similar, but I want to create that one as well. And after that, I'm going to create an anchor image for this lighting situation and this one, and then I'm done and I can edit um, the whole catalog. I'm going to give a green color code to this, okay, so that I can use the red color coded anchor images as my primary anchor image and I'm going to edit the rest of this. Um, if there is anything that is confusing, I have a um, dedicated editing course, the editor's blueprint, which uh, just shows you step by step and shares in details my editing workflow process method. Everything that you can think of is included in the course. Uh, but of course, if you just don't want or don't have the time, let me know, get in touch and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Let's start. Okay. Let's start from this one. 
So basically I'm going to lock this to the second window. My computer is very slow because I'm also listening to some music while I'm talking. Might be that. Okay, and I'm also recording as well. I'm going to sync. Let me see. I'm going to include all of the masking. I'm not going to include the white balance. Let's see how this goes. Let me just Okay, much better. Okay. I like to crop four by three. Because I think it better emulates the look of film. Uh, 120 film, of course. It's my favorite, of course. Mm, I don't like that. So since the horizon, the lake line is just um, bothering me, I'm going to get rid of it and crop in just a tiny bit, of course. Okay, I'm going to... So now I'm in the way here, so I might want to... Mm, let me check what happens. I'm going to add half stop of light. Picking a neutral white balance. And then just tweaking it to better match the image on the left. Okay, let's, yeah, now I have added a full stop of light. Let's see. I am really liking this. This is very cohesive. I like all the tones. This is the before and this is the after, if you're wondering. And I'm okay with that. I love it. That was very hard to shoot here, but I was actually, actually second shooting. So as you can see, I only have one lens because um, I was second shooting and um, yeah, we had more cameras and more lenses, but I'm going to include Mario Casati photos in the video that I'm going to share next week. So if you are curious to see his photos, definitely check the video out. Why is it so slow? Why is it so slow? Love this photo. Of course, the white balance needs to be tweaked because they look very yellow now and also green. So I usually use these presets that I created. So I usually test the flash, which is very neutral. And if that I don't like, I try the auto white balance. And if that does not work, I try to pick my uh, white balance. So as for now, I might go with the flash because I think it's more neutral. And I think I can add more light to this photo. Let's test the half stop. Don't worry if it's too cool. Don't worry about that. Plus one stop and just focusing on 
the amount of light that I have in the photo. Okay, one is too much. Let's go down just a tad. Even though we are retaining very good details there. And I want to do highlight soft, shadows harsh, and shadows cool, highlights warm. Let's test this. I'm increasing the amount because with all of these presets, I have created an amount slider. So by increasing this amount, I'm adding more cooler uh, tones to the shadows and more warmer tones to the highlights, sorry. Um, this is bothering me. Where can I put it? Here, okay. Um, because I'm already always checking what I could do. As you can see, I have a very long list of presets that I created. These are on sale on my website if you're interested. And as you can see, there are the lens uh, corrections, exposure, contrast, white balance, color grading, warming skin tones uh, more towards red and pink, warm and tones and skin tones more towards yellow, uh, greens, uh, because I know greens are very important along with skin tones for my clients and for all photographers. And then the film grain and the noise and the AI masks that I created, which are very, very helpful and I always use. Okay, let's now give this, oops, sorry, skin tones uh, some color. I want to warm this photo just a tad. I think we are lacking magenta. So this might not be your um, style, your preferences might not align with mine, but I created these profiles and these presets for all photographers, for myself and for all photographers, so that we can achieve our preferences with each lighting condition, each location, each skin tones, because we have a lot of presets and a lot of room to play with this so that I could change uh, the tones in the skin or the green tones in the background here. I could do a lot. I'm trying just to uh, match what I created in this anchor photo, reference photo that I edited already because this is the style that I want um, for this shoot based on their skin tone, the lighting condition, the location, everything. I really focused on this photo and now what I'm going to do is not guessing what I like for each photo, it's just matching um, to the reference that I have already created for me. And if you're struggling with your style, this is something that I really uh, suggest doing. Create a very solid reference for yourself and then just focus on recreating that style. Um, I work a lot with photographers in my signature style edit, signature style session, sorry, and we focus a lot on editing but also we focus a lot on their preferences and style and I help them navigating this and better um, creating that specific dream style that they have in mind or they help, I help them understand what their dream style entails. Okay, I'm talking too much. Let's just edit for a bit. Okay, for now, I am happy. What I'm doing now is going to edit the rest of the photos here and then I'm going to compare and check 
Okay, this one, I'm going to use this one as a reference and I'm going to sync this. If you don't see me use the sync buttons on the screen, it's because I do have um, Shadow Pro V2 and I use this while editing. I highly recommend it. I also have a review and a guide of this tool in the editor's blueprint. Okay. Daphne! Mm. Sorry, my dog is doing something. Sorry. My dog really wants to go for a walk, so it's doing a mess. Why is it so slow today? Am I asking you too much? I like to straighten photos when it's digital, while when I'm shooting film, I don't mind. Slightly crooked photos. I think it actually adds to the style. But when it's digital, I just can't help uh, I just have this instinct to straighten photos it might be because I've been a photo editor for so many years and over the past four 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 years more than four years editing for other uh, established photographers uh, they uh, were giving me instructions and I was editing based of, of their preferences. I'm trying to edit while I talk uh, so that we can move faster. And they, the majority of them were um, sharing that they preferred their photos to be straightened. So this is what is now my instinct to always straighten digital photos while I'm, ten I'm tending not to do that with my uh, film photos, the ones that I shoot. Okay, oh, the, the flash, I swear it's always giving me a very nice neutral white balance to work with so that I can then um, just tweak it. I actually like this photo as is. I think it's slightly warmer compared to the one on the left. But the light was changing because it was cloudy, so I'm not bothered by uh, the slightly warmer skin tone uh, that she's she has here. I actually might warm this one up a bit, just a tiny bit, and or leave it because it was cloudy, so I need to be mindful of that. It's taking forever taking forever i hope you so one thing that you can do uh, if you're you're watching this on youtube you can speed up the um, video i highly recommend doing that because it's very slow um so that you can watch at a higher speed okay beautiful no need to do more than that let's now work again with this photo and just checking if the AI masks were applied because I saw a red dot there. Okay, it was fine. I have already synced the settings.
It is bothering me. How slow it is today. Okay. Thank you for uh, collaborating. Increasing exposure just a tiny bit. And it is. Ah. Okay, I see this photo. I see a lot of green in this photo, so I'm going to correct that as soon as Lightroom lets me. I think this is slightly crooked. Mm, I might include more of the top there because it's very beautiful. Okay. I'm just ex exciting. <laughs> I'm just adjusting. Um, white balance and exposure adding just a tad of magenta because i could see a lot of green in the undertones now i think this is better i shot this photo overexposed because the lighting was changing so fast and i probably had set my eyes so I don't know what happened, it was so fast here. Okay. Ah, this is not a good representation of how fast my workflow is. Okay, what I'm going to do now is sync from this photo to the rest and i'm actually going to use this one as a reference it has synced the settings so i'm now going to use the first one as a reference and check that the other two are okay It's me. Hi. Oh, because I didn't. Okay, let, let, let's do that again. I did not include um, white balance. Okay. I set fast workflow at the start of the video. Uh, it's going so slow. I don't know what is happening. Okay. Beautiful. So, this is not fast. What is happening to my computer today? Hopefully you can speed up in YouTube. Mm. 
I'm using the lines of the door behind her to straighten the, the photo. It's me. Hi. As she is closer in this photo, I think we need more exposure. And so I'm trying to quickly match the exposure that we have on the reference there. Okay, just a tad less of warmth. And as far as magenta goes, I think we are done. So it took us way longer than I thought and then what usually takes me because it's not working today, my computer. And we are now going to revise this. So I'm going to select the photos, open the survey mode and just check how this looks, how these look. So what I'm focusing on is white balance, contrast, exposure, tones, that one photo that I would like to tweak is this one. I can see a lot of green in this photo and I'm going just to quickly adjust that because when I would start editing, I would not focus on these photos anymore. I would just focus on uh, sync the settings to the rest, to the batch of photos that I have in the collection. So I want these to be perfect. And this is the reason why I spend more time on these photos. It's just that I um, am ensuring cohesiveness a lot. Okay, we're back. I don't know why it's not working. But we are now going to make sure that all of these photos look perfect. This looks perfect. So this one, I'm just going to give it a nine color code because in this one, I'm going to edit in black and white. And I'm now going to focus on the next photo on the batch, in the batch. As you can see, I'm moving faster than Lightroom because I'm used to having much more of a faster workflow. I don't know why today is so slow. It's actually struggling my computer. As you can see, you cannot even see me today. Right now, sorry. But I'm still going. This won't stop me. Okay, the video is not working, so I'm going to stop the video and just focus on the photos here. Beautiful. Let me just straighten this and crop in 
a little bit. I love it. It's beautiful. Just pad or contrast more in the blacks. Okay. And next one, as you can see, even if my computer is still very slow, I think I am moving faster now because I just need to check that these photos are cohesive. You could also do that uh, from the this one. I'm going to edit in black and white. So I'm going giving a nine and a nine because these are two details and I want those to be in black and white. So I'm going to focus on the black and white later. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, that I'm moving faster and you could do this from the library panel if you wanted, but I'm more detail oriented. So I just like to open each photo and just make sure uh, that everything looks okay. This one's beautiful. Okay. Of course, these are not the main um, camera body and lens photos because, of course, I was second shooting, as I just mentioned before. Uh, but I think these are beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. One of these is going to be in black and white. Which one? This one or the following one? I think this one because it's more um, emotional. I can see more emotions. Well, this one, just, just looking down and smiling. Okay. I want more exposure here. Just matching the photo on the left. I think we need more magenta here. Sometimes you need to tweak uh, just a tad more. And here the light probably changed. Okay, that's beautiful. Let's move. The wind was moving her veil so much, I was loving it, and I kept shooting, <laughs> even while we, she was talking to her husband here. I love where she is standing. I'm just going to crop that thing there that I don't like. And around here. And I want more light. Exposure up. Up, up. More magenta. This is stunning. Okay. And the last one, I think this is uh, too cool. Actually, I liked how her arms were directing to the bouquet. Just a tiny bit more light, but we definitely need more warmth here. Warmth and magenta. Just matching the photo there. I think we are close, but we need more warmth. Okay. I think we are done with this batch. Let's move to the next one. Uh, this one is very similar to the previous one. I would like to edit this one in black and white. So I'm giving a blue color code and then moving to the next one. 
This one is unique because she's leaning forward, looking down the balcony. I really like it. Just needed to crop it. Okay, in this one I moved far away. I am really liking this one. I'm trying to keep this in the frame. Um, more light, I think. More contrast, just a tiny bit more contrast and more highlights here. And I think just a tad more warmth and more magenta since this is uh, not as close as the previous one. I'm just tweaking it so that we can still retain the same amount of contrast, highlights, shadows, um, same skin tone. I think just... Okay, this is okay. I'm going to um, match to this because they're the same. So... It's going to be perfect. Just need to check the straightening here. Hopefully this gives you an insight on my process. Just know that usually it's much faster, but it's good that's being slowed down so that you can better see what I'm doing. Hopefully it's not only my computer that sometimes has these days love this, that I'm including the line and that I'm cropping there. I want more contrast in the shadows here. So I'm just decreasing the shadows, the shadows just a tiny bit. I think this looks so beautiful. This might be my first one of this batch. I like this one because of the veil, because the wind was moving it, but this one where she's looking in camera is beautiful. Let's move to the next one. This is more of a close-up shot. I love the flowers in the background as well, adding just a nice touch, more contrast in the shadows, and I think this is beautiful. Just a tiny bit less of warmth in the skin tone. I think this is perfect. Let's just sync the settings to the next one so that we have the same amount of contrast lights, etc. Well, that was changing so fast. I think this one needs more light. And... Okay, let's move to this one. This one needs a little bit of work. Um, it's backlit, it's very dark, but I'm going to make the most out of it. Okay, let's bump up exposure and see how this looks better. Um, I can see that we can use more magenta in this photo. 
we are losing this sky, so let's use the AI mask that I created for the sky here, sky recover. Mm, better. I'm okay with that. And... Definitely better. Of course, this is slightly different from the reference. But it's a different um, lighting condition. This is so beautiful. I want to edit one of these in black and white. Let's see. Probably this one, the next one, I'm going just to give a blue color coat. This one is beautiful. Okay. This one I'm going to give a La, um, a blue, sorry, color code, and uh, this one as well. I really like. I want to edit in black and white, so I'm going to focus on that one later. Beautiful the veil, and them um, smiling at each other. It's so beautiful. Love this. Okay, I'm just trying to better frame uh, their their arms here since I'm um, also losing the skyline here i'm just going to focus on them and straighten the photo i think this looks majestic beautiful okay next one one of these should be in black and white but it's going to be very hard to um decide which one Beautiful. This one, okay. One of these has to be in black and white because these three of them kissing are very similar. Let's probably do the first one and see how the other ones look. Second one, very similar, so that's great. Let's focus on the kiss, the arms. Okay, love this. What about the last one? They're going to be exactly the same. It is, but I don't care because it's beautiful. And... As you can see, the light changed already here. I'm going to keep this and adjust the sky recover, not adjust, sorry, just add the sky recover so that we can retain more info and details in the background there. I like that this is now more cohesive with the lake and that we can now see them better. Um, I would like to... As far as the subject AI masks, I would like them, uh, those to be enhanced. So I'm just going to click on it and enhance this since they are uh, far away. And I think this is helping with the shadows on their faces, on, on them, on their skin. And now I'm going to check. What about... Just adjusting highlights just a tiny bit. 
tad more warmth. This might be too much. Okay, I'm happy with this. I think we are matching. If anything, just adjusting that. And now I'm going to include everything and sync. I'm going to replace because I adjusted those. I'm going to pause this for you. Um, this one is exactly the same as the first one, so I'm just going to edit in black and white later. I'm going to focus on this one later. Let's move because I know this one I can already see from the previous going to be different. Okay, I'm kissing, beautiful. And I think this needs uh, just um, a little tweak in the exposure. straightening, centering, there's straightening, and done. Um, am I including too much sky there? Let's just focus on them. Okay, beautiful. More exposure. I am going to sync the settings without the masks because those are the same. And see how this looks. Beautiful. It's me. Hi. Uh, okay, I was just checking an exposure. Love this. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to come back later to these photos because I want to remove these two, but it's going to take me a few seconds, so I'm not going to do it now.
It's been less gorgeous. Okay, let's move to the next one. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, I'm just straining the photos. Especially with photos with um, architecture and formal portraits, I want this to be extra straightened. So I'll even straighten multiple times until I'm 100% happy with it. Okay. Oh, I love these leaves here. Hi, we had some technical issues and now I'm back. It's much later, uh, but hopefully Lightroom is now going to work faster. So let's see where we left. Mm, I'm thinking one of this could be edited in black and white. Let's do this one. See what the other one looks like. Like this one better in color. As you can see, I'm just uh, tweaking exposure, straightening, and that's it. Wow, this one is beautiful. Like this one so much. I don't understand. I think it's because I'm recording, but I've done this before and oh, I know what it might be. It might be because I'm working in a catalog where I have many more photos. 
probably should have had created another one. But since uh, we will have patience, Why is it not straightening? Okay, thank you. No, it's not straightening again. Okay. What bothers me about my computer when it's this slow, which actually never happens, um, is that it's making me slower because i usually know what i need to do and i'm just being slowed down by the computer am i complaining too much hopefully not let's stop and this is beautiful uh, this is photos are so beautiful i want this one in black and white because it's beautiful of them looking at each other smiling Although this one would be beautiful in black and white, I really love the contrasts of warm tones and cooler tones together. So I just might keep it in color. Adjusting white balance because it's a tad warmer and more green for some reason. better let's move forward it's beautiful Oh, and now my, my favorite set is coming up after this photo. These are so romantic of them looking at the lake while hugging. Sorry, I just had to have a coffee. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Okay, let's move forward. As you can see, I'm not doing much to these photos. It's just uh, double checking that everything looks great and straightening the photos. an exposure more exposure stunning maybe too much okay now i want to add just a tad of magenta 
because I could see that lacking in skin tone and also in her dress and now I like this way more perfect let's move forward mm. how many of these do we have I definitely want one in black and white Hmm. I actually think this one looks does it look good if not straight end? I think it does. This one is so beautiful. I can stop looking at this one. Um Let me see the next one and then I'll decide about this one. Okay, this one is going to be edited in black and white and I'm going to leave the other one slightly crooked. We want to crop in. Of course, I'm going to remove people behind them, but I'm going to do it later because it's going to take some time. Too much. I want the focus on here. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, I had to give a nine to this photo because I'm going to edit it in black and white. Gorgeous. Wow. Oh my God, I love this. Okay. This one might be another one in black and white and this one of them kissing, I want to leave it in color. Beautiful. Okay, so now if we filter out the um, blue color coded photos, which are going to be the ones that I'm going to edit in black and white. We can revise this photos. Oops. And I think these look gorgeous. I love them so much. Just checking overall cohesiveness. Going to remove those with AI. These are beautiful. Beautiful. Let's move to the Grande del Tremezzo portraits, which are not many, unfortunately. Um, it's just this set of photos because I was then assisting Mario. While we were shooting, he was shooting, we were shooting with flash, so I had to help him with flash and so I was not shooting I was assisting him so these are the only photos that I shot Ooh, sorry 
Agora no teletramezzo. Can you tell it's much later in the day? Since we don't have many photos, I'm just going to make sure that this one are cohesive and then I'm going to edit these few photos here. We had aperitivo with them at the end of the session and while we already had um, finished the session, I just took a quick few shots of the aperitivo because it was Amazing. Look at these glasses, so beautiful. Why am I so tired today? Hmm. This could be a good candidate for black and white, but as for now, I'm going to edit this one in color. Since I don't have many photos, but I tend to have beautiful duplicates, emotional shots, etc., I do it in black and white, but if I don't have many, I might just create a, actually, I wouldn't create a copy of this because it would be so obvious that it's a copy. It's not working again. Okay. I have to... Okay. Beautiful. And the last one, wow, this might be my favorite one. That one and this one, so these two are my favorite ones. Just love how I changed. I didn't even change perspective, it's just the same, but I slightly changed position here. Love it. The 4 by 3 aspect ratio makes me, um, it forces me to be mindful of what I want to keep in the frame and what not. <laughs> Usually I want to keep everything in the frame, but I am 
in love with the this aspect ratio so I I have to decide what I want to leave out. Yes, this is what we needed, more light and slightly more magenta. <laughs> I also got a hiccup. Yes, slightly more warm. Wow, che bella. Okay, one of these two is going to be in black and white. These are just going to be for my own pleasure of editing this because I don't think I'm going to... These are going to be included in the final selection. Let's use Portra 400 Classic, uh, which has slightly cooler shadows, cooler tones added to the shadows. I am going to do not all harsh, highlight soft, shadows harsh. Let's do flash, other white balance. Hmm, not bad. Ooh, way better. And shadows cool, highlights warm. What changes if I choose the other one or this one? Yeah, like this one or this one. No, this one. And do we want more saturation there? I kind of want more saturation in the warmer tones and I want grain and I think that is it. I have a good composition, I can keep, I like the logo of the, the Grand Hotel Tremezzo here and I just want to keep um, half of him in the frame, not all of him. Beautiful. Now, so this is the raw file. Let's test this one, which I had already started editing. Let's set the auto white balance and I like this one. What am I thinking that this one needs? I'm okay with that. And I'm going to sync the settings. Do I have any mask applied here? No. No, what? These are going to be for my own pleasure, so I'm not really bothered if these are slightly crooked. And I'm going to later decide which one I like best to include in the YouTube video. As for now, I like all of this. Probably the first one and the last one are different. This one, I, I don't know. Let's see, I'm going to compare this later with the survey mode. Mm. 
yeah like that okay and the last one i have already edited and this one i want to edit in black and white because it's a shot it's a very dark shot of the outside of grand hotel tramezzo when uh, we left pre-ceremony so as for the pre-ceremony i have already edited this one and i'm going to use it to match to the rest as for the details i am going to use this one to add now this one should be in the pre-ceremony and i want this one in the getting ready and also this one i want in the getting ready remove as mentioned before i don't have too many of these and i'm going to move this one here and this one here and probably that's it let's just do it very quickly i'll start from this one so just going to paste the settings here Oh, this one might be very beautiful in black and white, actually, because it's just the logo. I was in love with this leaf. Just took a really quick shot while Mario was uh, talking to the couple. This is the lake, even though, as you can see, it was buckling down and raining um, so hard that day. Okay, I like that I can see also this one there. And, oh, this one might be my favorite detail. This is a place where I also have a picture of me and... I'm not going to include white balance since I have two other photos here that um, were shot elsewhere. Uh, so that is going to be easier for me uh, to edit those. But actually for this three, I'm going to copy the white balance as well. So it's going to be faster. And I have photos of me and my partner here took by another photographer. I still haven't edited those, but I'll definitely will. Stunning. This one will be removed with uh, later with AI and also this one. Beautiful. Let me do just a sky recover very quickly. Okay. Um, same here. Beautiful. I wish this place was my private garden <laughs> where I could spend hours reading. Okay. I'm in love. I am in love. Sky recover and let's move to the next two photos, the last two photos in the collection. I told you it was going to be uh fast. Actually, I don't like it. I am going to Okay, I want highlights soft and shadows harsh. I want a balance flash. Shadows cool, highlights warm, neutral shadows. What about this one? I think we're missing magenta here. So let's add magenta. So I can see too much green. Decide. Okay. I think we did a good job with this one. And the last one. Beautiful. I love these clouds. This is so typical of this place. Okay. I want white balance flash. 
so that I can have a very nice Canva there. Hide itself, Shadows Harsh, and let me try. Shadows Cool, Hide its Warm, and Shadows sh the Warm, Hide its Warm. Okay, I like it, but I want this one. And Love this. Now, why did I give it a nine? <laughs> okay. All of these have been edited. I love all of them. And now we only have the pre ceremony and the getting ready. And then we're done. So, pre ceremony is going to be pretty straightforward. And actually, even these are going to be pretty straightforward because these three are already edited in black and white this one i can edit in black and white actually because this is the wedding planner this one i can use this one and all of this i'm going to use this one so let's start from here i'm going to lock this down to the second window see this is how i usually work when lightroom allows me to do it i'm really fast yeah, we're almost there. Almost there. Okay. He has finished. And now I'm going to revise this. Actually, I'm just going to zoom in. Since these are so many, I'm already going to decide which ones I go. I want to edit in black and white, and I'm just going to edit the rest of these. So, Perfect. I am really tempted to edit this one in black and white. I am going to try my best. Okay, let's stop looking at this. Otherwise, I'm going to try to edit it even more. Beautiful. All of these are gorgeous. The ones in... Uh, in blue here I'm going to edit in black and white and now we have the pre-ceremony and then I'm done I'm going to sync the settings beautiful I love this photo. So beautiful. Why are you doing this to me today? Okay. 
We're almost there. I love this photo, so beautiful. This place is stunning, he's very elegant, the posing, the everything is beautiful. I'm in love with these photos. If only Lightroom was working. It's not Lightroom, it's my computer. I can hear it in the background. <laughs> Gorgeous. I could have cropped in, but I would I didn't want to lose details there, so I left it. And now let's move to the next set. Beautiful. How many times can I say beautiful? <laughs> okay, una di queste. Probably one of these two I'm going to edit in black and white. Beautiful. Let's move to the next one. I might do this one in black and white since he is still or the other one. No, this one in black and white, this one in color. Ah, actually, let's do the opposite. She has better lighting on him here. Um, we couldn't switch off all of the lights in the um, rooms, so we have to deal so this one I still haven't edited because let me try and copy the settings from this one and see without the white balance. Actually, there were two masks there applied that I might not want. Which am I going to remove? Yes, this is too much. Let's do a quick reset. Let's do the cropping first. Four by three. Okay.
Okay, perfect. Let's choose. Let's go with a soft one and let's do the first one which has cooler shadows and then I want more exposure. I want highlight soft for sure. I'm not sure about the shadows harsh. Let's do it now. Lash. Auto white balance. I'm going to pick my white balance here. It's right here. Yeah, lighting is not perfect here. Not perfect, but not ideal. But I like the photo as is. So let's do a quick... Oh, actually, I had to remove two masks from here. Oh, there are no masks supplied. Uh, let's add the subject masks. Just hopefully going to help with the light on his face. Definitely. Let's sync the settings with or without white balance with. And let's see how it goes. Beautiful. Actually, I want this one as a reference now since we have a new location. And I'm going to check the rest of this. One of these two is going to be in black and white for sure. Let's see, it might be the first one. Mm, yes, I want this one in black and white. I don't really like this, how out of focus this is here. Okay, zoom out. I actually think that even this one could be in black and white because I don't like the artificial light here. And beautiful photo here of them. We only have two, four, five photos left here. Decrease exposure. Mm, this is a good amount, I think. Let me check. Yeah, it actually is very true to tone. Okay, beautiful. Let's see that the other ones are cohesive and I think we are done. I actually am going to check this one in survey mode because it's too, it's taking too long. Oh no, we have to adjust exposure here. These last three. I can already see from the preview. We need to do that. Um, actually. This one of them laughing is going to be in black and white, while the other two I'm going to edit. Uh, which one was it? This one, this one. Okay. This one I here have already checked. Perfect. We only have three photos. Slightly warmer. Mm. Black and white.
actually let me edit this one in color i'm going to tweak uh, the shadows here okay And the last one, beautiful kiss. This gorgeous hotel. Okay, this is perfect. Yay, we made it. Let's just quickly revise all of these and then I am going to edit the black and white photos, revise the black and white, and then I'm going to quickly do the uh, removals that I needed to do before. Is already getting ready, pre-ceremony. Beautiful. Villa del Balbianello. Oh, this photo is so beautiful. Gorgeous. Little details. Okay, and this one I'm going to choose. I'm actually going to do it now. I'm going to reject this to Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to reject this one and this one. I'm going to keep this one and this one. Beautiful. I hope you found this helpful, even though it was too long. Definitely, it took us too long to edit these photos, but I am really, really pleased uh, with how this turned out and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one ciao